Hello, I'm back and it's still Tuesday in Lisbon in February. We're walking towards the Fardo Museum. Look at that facade. Oh, they're the water fountains, aren't they? Like really historic ones. I was just remarking to my other half, it's a very pretty walk. Really interesting to look at everything. There's another load of those recycling bins. I like the recycling bins, I think they're very good. I've been given permission to film. There was a thing on the door that said like no filming, but the guy said no flash. I said, can I film? You know, in Portuguese, and he said, yeah, but just don't use a flash. <gasps> Yay. Anyway, we're in the gift shop at the moment, which is where the ticket office is. So my boyfriend's just buying tickets right now, but I just wanted to show you the guitar. The Portuguese guitar. Look, they have them on sale here. Look at these machine heads here. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, twelve. I mean, that's completely not tuned, so don't take that as a representation of how they sound. This is up for 380 euros. That one's on for 250, look. Hey, this almost says IB. Almost, like this, this logo. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve strings, huh? Yeah. I'm guessing that these are in octaves like high low, high low, high low. And then unison. We've gone straight through and some ladies greeted us. We almost walked past them, but they, they hailed us and they've given us an audio tour. They said you just press the numbers that you see on the wall. And it starts with this photo wall here. Look, there's a lovely big bass guitar here, an acoustic bass. It's from 1970. Look at this old gramophone here. I don't know when it's from actually. I presume that's an old 78 on there. My other half tells me his friend's got one of these and the volume control is opening and shutting the door. There's the speakers behind there. I've come to another one of these photo wall sections and they're very clever. You see they've got numbers by them and if you type them in to your audio tour and press the green button, you can hear an extract of them singing. Come out of the Fardo Museum now. We didn't spend ages in there. There were a lot of audio files to listen to, should you wish to. Lots of singers and songs from various eras of the history of Fardo. Uh, a few real artifacts to look at, videos to watch, lots to read. I didn't film loads. The museum's just by there and we're just strolling slowly up this street. We're gonna have a little walk in this old neighborhood now. I don't know if you watched my last vlog. I think I need to replace my shoes, urgently. <laughs> I got something on them that, uh, in spite of a lot of cleaning, they ain't clean. <laughs> Seriously, I need to buy some new footwear this evening before the shop's shut. And I need trousers, because it's got on the trousers and I don't know where. I don't have any spare trousers for me at all, or tights. I don't have any shampoo or conditioner, I just couldn't fit it in, so I'm gonna have to go shopping. I'll just have to have a carrier bag with me when I go back to the alcohol. Oh dear, oh well. I'm, at least I'm having this problem in a nice scenic location. Lovely to see all the washing out, drying on the lines. We're going up some steps. <laughs> Just come up here. We're we going up here now. It looks really pretty, doesn't it? We've come to a bit of a sort of landing area. It's amazing all the different levels that you have, isn't it? Oh, I'm eyeing the tights up over there, right? Enviously, I want to swap to tights. I really wish I didn't bring my coat out with me when I nipped out this morning for my walk around town. I wish I had brought my coat. Now I'm wishing I hadn't, because all I've been doing is carrying it. We've emerged from our rather strenuous climb and there seems to have been a market here and people are putting things away at the moment. Oh, there's a big building there. Oh, I want to have a little nose in there. I've just pointed out that over there there's like some army surplusy stuff. Oh, I've seen a t-shirt I like. I'm gonna have a look. I had a t-shirt with the star that I lost in Portugal. I liked it. I wonder how much that one is. This is too small, I think this is a small. 
I think they're putting things away for the day. Oh, it's 100% cotton. Hmm. I don't know if this is a market or what, but I like the railings at the top there, the details on there. There's a ship, the crown. Oh, it's like um, antiques and stuff for sale here. Decided not to go for the t-shirts. They were eight euros. They did look nice, but the guy was packing up for the day and I didn't want to be a pain in the butt. You know, he had them all tied together and stuff. I'm liking the roof <laughs> and all the light coming in through those windows. Makes it a lovely light, airy space. We've got some weigh and pay dried fruits and nuts here. Look at the dates sticking up. <laughs> IB's buying himself some yummy snacks, but I'm actually not hungry, but they do look delicious. They do look delicious. They do, they do. Stopped for a little drinky stop. Got his Lordship a Sagrish beer, which is delicious, but I prefer it in the evenings. Um, just a diet coke for me. Turns out we've wandered into a lovely little place for having a bit of a nibble and a sip. <laughs> There's loads of just, I don't know, little nibbly places. There's somebody cooking something over there. Oh, hot dogs. Apparently they do vegan, all vegan uh, things there, including bifanas. So I don't know what the ingredients is. So when I saw the all vegan stall, I found an appetite that I didn't think I had. I treat myself to an empanada and it's got spinach, tofu and mushrooms in it. So very looking forward to that. I've had a little nibble. It's good. I highly recommend. We're heading back now towards the shoe shop <laughs> and this rather magnificent archway. Oh, it was nice that little marketplace. I wish we'd gone earlier because they were all closing up by the time we arrived. Oh, we're by that cathedral. Isn't it, to be fair? It is, isn't it? It's lovely. It's me not successfully crossing the road. Do you even know where we are? No, I don't know where we are. Well, I kind of do. Are you sure? Well, I think we've got to go that way personally, but you know, oh look, it's the number 28. Keep, okay. keep your um, self nice and tight to the wall, I'd say. <laughs> oh, I hear trammage. I think the number 28's coming up the other way. Oh, there it is. Maybe that other one was waiting to pass it. Oh, here, look, because it goes down to one track. There comes another one. Very popular with the tourists because it's like a little, I don't know, very nippy and goes very close to the buildings. It's quite exhilarating to go on. But it looks like we're walking the track 28 line. <laughs> oh, there's a mop sticking out of the doorway there. Oh, it's coming back, it's coming back. <laughs> oh, I'm scared. Oh, I don't remember. I was taking it slow. Those videos for YouTube being made right now on that tram alone <laughs> and me videoing them videoing it. I just narrowly escaped being pooed on by a pigeon that time. It was literally half an inch away from me. So that would have added to the poo collection today, wouldn't it? I'd be, my other half thinks um, my trousers and shoes are not bad at all. He thinks I've got a big helping of paranoia adding to it. No, but I think I do definitely need to replace them. It's just, it's the thought of it now. It's the thought that there might be some on there, but I'm not gonna throw the shoes out. I'm gonna wrap them up tightly. <laughs> carry it back, take them home and put them through my washing machine and then see how they are. <laughs> Feels too wasteful to throw them away. But you know, when you know something like that's been on them, it's hard to ever love them fully again. I'm glad I brought my coat now because I'm cozy and warm and it's getting a little bit cooler. Oh, the tram's coming. Oh, it's a number 12 now, look. From Martin Monish. Going down an alleyway now. I think I've gone all hyperactive and perky because of having that can of, of Coke. He's woken me up. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I hope those shops are going to be open to buy shoes and trousers. This is on my mind. It's playing on my mind. I just, I want to get clean and pure again. <laughs> I love the contours of this place. Look, up that way, down that way, <laughs> down this way, down that way. Well, that's very beautifully decorated, isn't it? We're not sure where we are, but we're very much enjoying the walk, isn't it? Very distinctive and characteristic, characterful. And oh, that is a lot of pegs. A lot of pegs, all very densely clustered. I noticed things like that. Very colorful. Okay. 
Oh, Fado every day. 6.45 p.m. I feel like we're drifting further and further away from where we're meant to be going. Oh, we're all heading towards the... Uh, <laughs> I don't mind, whatever you want to do. It's pleasant though anyway, isn't it? It's a very enjoyable getting lost. I'm just looking up at that massive church. It's under restoration, apparently. Back there is a pub called The Crafty Corner. Now, I know the owner, so I stopped and had a chat with the bartender there for ages, me and my other after. We're probably going to go back and have dinner there because it's going to be on the way to the session anyway, so... That's our plan. We've come to the Say Cathedral now on our route back. I've walked all the way down the hill and these are the boots I had my eye on. I'm gonna have a try. It's his and hers shoe shopping time now. We're both sort of wandering around trying on new shoes and being attended to by the lovely ladies here in the shop. I'm seriously contemplating these. They're light and comfortable and you know, we've got a nice zip to do them up so you don't have to fumble around with the laces all the time. I'm going to try something else on as well. I really liked it. I don't know where it's gone, but I'll show you in a minute. Look at these. They've got holes in them. You can see my colourful socks through the holes. I love them. I'm going to get them. They're yeah. very comfortable. They are. Vous comprenez? <laughs> I now have a nice pair of tights, very nice pair of tights. I went for the most expensive pair because I just loved the texture so much. It was so soft. I feel like the service I've had from these two little shops been like olden days transactions or something because there's been such a personal service and the shop attendants have been kind of pampery and really motherly and nice so I've had a good experience but I'm gonna have a quick look see if I can find H&M I know going back to the modern days really with that but I kind of feel like I'd like some trousers to wear for the next couple of days as well I've only got one dress and it's, it's going to need to go in the wash tomorrow so the tights is only going to tide me over for tonight really. Just crossing over the road here. My boyfriend has gone back to the hotel already and he's taken my shoes that I just bought, well the stinky ones, because I'm wearing these ones. I wanted to wear them straight away and he's taken my coat back as well so I'm quite unencumbered so it should be quite nippy getting there and back. Do you know what? I've had a thought. I think possibly the trouser contamination is a figment of my imagination but I can wear the tights tonight. What I could do now is I could just wash the lower half of these trousers with the hand dispenser, you know, shampooy stuff, hang them up to dry overnight, finish them off with a hairdryer in the morning. What about that? Then I don't need to buy new trousers. I think that's a winning plan. So I'm gonna go back to the hotel room and I might buy some drinks to take with me on the way. I'm back at the hotel. I've been to Pingo Do, so I just bought some cartons of chocolate milk and juice and some Smarties. Well, they're not Smarties, they're a different brand. dinner shortly so I'm gonna give these a good rinse now and hang them up somewhere dripping over the shower or something and then if they're not dry in the morning which they won't be I'm gonna attempt to hair dry them dry so I can wear well, them. <laughs> being very effective before that I'm gonna put the camera down we've come into a pub it's a lot later now we've um, had a bit of a rest while I've been editing the usual thing trying to sort my vlog out tomorrow with limited success but anyway we're good to that the internet issue <laughs> we're in a pub now this is the crafty corner they sell craft ales and my boyfriend is sampling one right now I myself had a little taste of it and it is delicious what is it it's IPA. And I'm having a fizzy water and lemon and we've ordered some food. The food has come, it's my sardines and tomatoes on bruschetta. And we've got a basket of chips which we're sharing and there's IBs. What is that? Uh, it's pork, barbecue pork sandwich. We're out roaming the streets of Lisbon again. We're off out to meet the same gang that we were hanging out with last night. We're off to a bar called Malingua, which is in Graça. And we've climbed up a million hills, haven't we? We're burning off the calories from the meal that we just had <laughs> so this this session isn't going to be an epic five hour session like last night's one was this is going to be a short 9 to 11 session very civilized 